All right, with that red dot, it means it's welcome to shield time. So as we always do with welcome to shield, we always take a look at the newest character. That's a four star release. Uh, run through them and then also take a look at the list of two, three, four and five star characters that we're going to have to use in order to get our legendary token. And of course, we're going to also look at the and friends or or and foes vault as well as we uh, get the required tokens for it. So it looks like we got Rhino here for the for the first node, and I have to hop into my roster to uh, remember how Rhino works, because <clears throat> he's one of those jump in front characters that that creates special tiles or attack tiles. So let me get to my Rhino. Uh, <clears throat> they have him at a five five three though. We can agree that that trample and five is is pretty ideal, and so what trample does, uh, it deals damage to the enemy team, destroys a random block of three by three tiles, plus any additional enemy or basic tiles, and then if Rhino is out in front, uh, it'll stun the enemy for three turns. But since this is um, <clears throat> one of those fights where Neither one of us can be stunned, but we don't have to worry about that. Rhino might, uh, this cost seven in black. Passively, uh, well, we don't have to worry about, about that there, because, again, Rhino's always going to be out in front regardless. But the active portion is Rhino deals damage and then creates fortified projectiles and then pretty weak enemy strike tiles and then finally hidebound this is uh his passive uh deal is that he takes 25 percent less damage from enemy powers and then friendly projectiles are much more effective when rhino's out in front and then uh <clears throat> rhino's rhino's colors are increased by 85 percent now i see the reason why they didn't put this here at five because yeah, Rhino, Rhino effectively doing double damage to you. Yeah, that's probably not going to be fun. Uh, as far as his affiliations goes, Villain, Sinister Six, Thunderbolts, Enhanced, Street Level, you know, full of Spider-Man. So, there you go there. So, Colleen Wing, we're going to take a look at her. You know, brand new character here. Her... <clears throat> All of her powers are relatively cheap, and they get cheaper with this ability here, Calming Breath. So what it does, it heals. It heals a small amount of health plus additional health for each friendly fortified strike, attack, or projectile on the board, up to 33%. Uh, then she creates a fortified concentration tile, which has. Which, ah, which has a cap of three and then as long as the concentration tile is on the board uh, all of her abilities cost two AP less minimum of three so you fire off one common breath you know boom that's you know three AP and then while a concentration tile exists uh, she can't be stunned and she doesn't take damage from attack tiles and then at higher levels more health um less ap uh oh my goodness less ap startup or less ap needed to fire off your abilities you know and again the stunts and all that there still matter flashing blade is an active and a passive this should cost nine though we know if you get her blue out it'll cost cheaper than that Deals damage plus double damage uh, <clears throat> for each friendly strike tile that's on the board. If there are any friendly concentration tiles on the board, then you re you remove one, and then you deal you'll deal even more damage. And then passively, she takes less damage from matches and abilities equal to the value of 
all friendly strike tiles on the board. So if you have, I don't know, strike tiles that have the accumulated value of like 6,000, yeah, so you it's gonna effectively deal like no damage at all. So, so again, more strike tiles on the board, less damage dealt to Colleen, but she deals out more damage too. And finally, Heroes for Hire this year costs 10. Uh, creates a fortified strike tile and protect tile with strength equal to the team's strongest match damage. So, you know, hey, if you happen to break out five star characters, you know, you'll have pretty ridiculous match damage. Or if you, you know, you happen to use someone like, oh, I don't know, Karnak, yeah. So then she heals the team with a burst of health, and if there's any friendly concentration tiles on the board, remove one, creates an additional fortified strike tile, and then she deals uh, additional bonus damage for each heroes for hire uh, on her team. Affiliations obviously are heroes for hire, heroes, street level, team Iron Man, should be Daughters of the Dragon, and... Um, Hang on, I'm trying to remember here. Was she a member of... Let's say the team with... Uh, oh my goodness. What's her face? Invisible Woman. Um, oh my gosh. This is the Captain America team that I'm thinking about. But uh, let's say during the ta coach run of um, Captain America. Daughters of Liberty. There we go. Jeez, but yeah, they say yeah they need yeah they they need the daughters of the dragon affiliation with her and uh, Misty Knight, but you know hey that's just the comic nerd in me. But I have a sneaking suspicion though that we're probably gonna be be using Misty Knight, you know, as one of the characters. Cause again I haven't looked at at any of these here. I don't go on don't go on Reddit and I don't go on uh, the forums to. You know, find out about, you know, who's going to be the character used. I said, we'll, we'll deal with Rhino and his, uh, his nonsense. a load of damage to us, that's fine. Get a little burst of healing. Because I already know they say you're probably gonna pair her up with Iron Fist. The uh I don't know if you wanna pair her up with the four star version of Iron Fist or the three star version, cause because they're gonna be um really competing after the blue ability. And the reason why I say that there is that you kinda want Colleen's common breath to uh to heal but at the same time too you kind of want uh kind of want strike tiles on the board so see there you go there goes the reduced damage there nine 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 you know I, again i wish this was uh like the uh the android version where you can actually see you know, the total strength of strike, attack, and projectiles, but sadly, no. That's the, uh, the downside of the Steam interface. A little bit of extra damage there from Rhino, but at this point in time here, yeah, he's pretty much done, so. All right, now hopefully, I hope with the five star we don't have to, uh, you know, be hard carried. Um, Black Widow original, fishnets, 
again, one of my favorite three, oh, excuse me, three stars, two stars in the game. Um, simply put, she steals enemy strike attack and well, pff, st well steals. She steals enemy AP uh, with with her purple and black. Uh, purple, it costs eight. You know, steals AP from every color with the exception of purple. If you have it at level five, you have to steal it at purple. But by then, you're paying 11 AP to to steal a mass load of AP, and it's not really worth it because her black ability espionage. Well, I mean, it it steals uh, all of the colors that she happens to uh, to tank. And then it'll deal deal damage and it'll deal even more damage if you have strike tiles on the board. And then her blue ability, anti-gravity device, it costs nine, uh, gives the team a burst of health. And if there's any countdown tiles on the board, it increases the length of them. So, you know, what more, you know, would you want from a, from a two-star character? So... Is it, you know, pair her up with, with mostly anybody, boom, there you go. Now you're probably wondering, it's like, oh, well, why aren't you using Deadpool? I already used Deadpool today, so. Uh, day one, show your stuff, Luke Cage, since, you know, Heroes for Hire, uh, pretty relatively straightforward, three star, uh, his yellow ability, it costs, it costs 13 deals damage to the target and then deals additional damage for each ally that he has remaining in the fight it's called righteous uppercut his red ability is a standout ability this here is a passive what it does at the start of start of the battle start of the, start of the turn if one doesn't exist you, then you create a pretty strong attack tile let me excuse me that's iron fist with the attack tile pretty strong protectile it's a in three star land, you know, hey, you can effectively have match damage deal like one point of damage per turn. You know, so there's an option there. Though personally, me, I, I roll him at a five three five because because his black is his black is pretty good. Uh what it does for it it's six AP but it's twelve to fire off the abilities altogether. Uh, for six, uh, it creates a four-turn countdown tile that that deals damage. It's called jab, and then the jab cross portion deals deals a pretty reasonable amount of damage in four in three-star land, not four-star land, but in three-star land, and it stuns the target for one turn. Which that, that actually reminds me. Yeah, let me go ahead and. And put him, put him back to how I normally, normally would have him at a five three five. Uh, and again, affiliation heroes for hire, like you know, don't really matter because he's going to be stunned uh, when I make a good, reasonable match. And sadly, no, the projectiles just do not reduce the damage from uh, from Thanos's court death. So. There's your FYI right there. All right, toughen up, Misty Knight, one of the daughters of the dragon. Um, since I'm not gonna be able to use Thanos, I will use the other hero for hire, Iron Fist. Since we did mention about him, if I can find my four-star Danny Rand. Oh my goodness, where are you, Danny? I probably scrolled past you. Yep, I did. There he is. All right, so Misty Knight, yellow, red, <laughs> red, yellow, blue, and green. I'm dyslexic today. I don't know my colors, and you know, hey, I'm, I'm still got to sleep from work, but whatever. Uh, her green ability, Bionic Beatdown, this cost eight. What it does. It removes any and all fortifications on the board, obviously targeting the opponent's fortifications uh, first, and then removing 
uh, it's a like then deals damage to the target, um, and then deals additional damage for each fortified tile on the fortified tile on the board. So now you're probably wondering, well, how in the world does it determine um, if the fortifications are the opponents or not? And trust me, it does. All right. Uh, Saturday Night Specialist, cost seven. It's an active and a passive. Actively uh, converts two random basic tiles to her team's strongest color and then fortifies and improves three random special tiles by whatever the listed amount is. And then a fortified tile is matched or destroyed. Then she heals her allies for a burst of help. And then if any allies are a defender, Misty Knight's also healed. So there you go with the whole Iron Fist synergy because, you know, Danny Rand, ex-husband, husband, whatever the case might be. All right. And then this is the control. This here costs six. Uh, she deals damage to the target, uh, creates attack tiles on basic random tiles on a chosen row, and then for each uh, attack tile created for on either team's strongest color then you fortify those tile and then you deal damage so an example would be uh, if you use this as control on on Misty's on uh, tiles excuse me on rows that have green green tiles then it'll fortify all those green tiles you know and create attack tiles Mostly on those tiles there. I mean, it's I know it says it's random You know you got a better chance of hitting hitting your tiles as well uh, as her far as her affiliations go defenders heroes uh, Heroes for hire a force street level enhanced again should be daughters of the dragon, but you know Whatever Let Danny take take the hit here. All right, cause now we're gonna get Danny started now. you don't well okay cool that's fine with me all right that's gonna take all those tiles there out Danny will probably As long as I get one more blue, we'll be a-okay, or, or I should say one more match of blue. Uh, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and drop, drop mutation with a uh, chief focus, and that's gonna drop. It's that's gonna give me the AP that I need there, but I don't have any protect tiles on the board just yet because you know they happen to take out my uh, protect tiles. So now again, could I've used like like unto iron? Yeah, probably could have and and just been done with it, but whatever. Alright, uh day one test the skill. Ooh, alright, cool. We got we got Electra. So this here's actually gonna be pretty cool here. Um uh, Woman without fear Electra. So she's gonna create um 
she's gonna create strike tiles for us or actually she'll steal whatever enemies yeah whatever enemy special tile we want her to steal so let's see here uh, I might as well go with the four star Luke Kate since he will um, anytime enemy fires off a of power you know protectiles all right so Electra woman without fear Obviously, this is Electra as Daredevil uh, during the, uh, what is this here? I'm trying to remember here. What is the dude's run of Daredevil? Because uh, I'm I'm still currently reading it, but, but due to comicsology messing up just about everything, yeah, I kind of don't want to use the service anymore. Uh, what? Chip Zdarsky, that's his name. Oh my goodness, yeah. So this is off of the Chip Sadarsky run of our of Daredevil, which is still still continuing still continuing as Electra's Daredevil. Uh long story short, Daredevil goes to jail. Uh he asks Electra, hey, take over the mantle uh of Daredevil for me while I'm up in jail, you know, trying to clear my name. Alright. So Audible Side, which you know, that's that's actually one of those Chef Kiss pun names that, that I like. So what it does, stuns the target for a turn, uh, creates a two-turn red countdown tile that deals damage at higher levels. Two-turn, two-turn countdown tile that deals damage. So again, we'll be using that there against um, oh oh, what's his face tomorrow. Star Lord. All right, Shadow Dance is this is her ability that is it that I really really like. So what it does, it it costs six. It creates uh, trap tiles on the board on yellow. So if we were to take any any sort of damage while there's a trap tile on the board, then the damage is gonna be, the damage will be reduced by fifty percent. It'll be destroyed and then it deals damage to the target and then we gain and we gain that AP right back. So as long as we continuously have yellow AP to uh to be fed to us either by cloak and dagger or any other character that can feed yellow, we can keep Shadow Dance going on effectively and effectively negating all the damage that the opponent does to us but we have to have have the tiles on the board in order for it to activate so that's that's the only downside it's a cheap ability as long as those tech uh as long as those tiles aren't matched away you know hey we'll effectively deal retaliatory damage to the opponent now Gwyneth's strategy this is her other unique ability you know her daredevil-esque ability but there's only one problem with it it costs 10 ap so what it does if an enemy creates whatever tile is chosen so strike attack or projectile then we'll convert um one of those there we'll steal one of those there and then reduce the strength of the remaining chosen tiles by whatever listing or amount now it starts off with strike tiles so you know strike tiles are are you know obviously good in the game because well hey more damage all right so like i said it's it's a good ability but in order for you to take out protectiles you kind of need 10 purple ap for to do projectiles and buy at that point in time there you know it's too little too late but other than that there like against against guys or gals that create strike tiles oh man pfft, okay cool like uh oh i don't know ultron or um noel you know that that's just a two off the top of my head uh obviously the the other daredevil so once he gets the 50 percent health and then i forgot to mention about Alexa's team affiliation but we'll do that there uh 
momentarily after we're done done with this fight here because it won't take too too long it shouldn't take too long anyways Is it Luke's just creating those protectiles for us? Now this is where I kind of wish I had that uh, protectile out, but don't worry, we're gonna get it out pretty soon. Or the queen of uh, that means shadow dance. Alright. Alright, cool. Absorb. Knockout blow. Cause we're not worried about those protectiles being mashed away because you know whatever give Electra a little bit of a burst of health because we're gonna we're, we're really gonna need her for that next fight so Again, no more, no more, uh, what's the name, tiles on the board, black tiles on the board. So that's why Luke Cage did what he did. Downed him. See here, can I? Oh, that'll work. That will work, Colleen. All right, so. The, the day two test of skill, as everybody knows, yeah, don't make match fours because Mockingbird will um will intercept that jump. So let's see here. I need so is it I need a character to to generate yellow for us? Yeah, well, let's go with Cloak and Dagger. Why not? Even though they're technically not heroes for hire, but yeah, we need every, every, every bit of an advantage that we can get. Uh, as far as uh, lectures affiliations go, heroes, defenders, street level. So, you know. Is that we'll let them, let them make the match for. Sadly, they really don't need green, but. You know, it's all good. Oh, nope. This is going to be reduced. Nope. Ooh, that's going to suck. That's really going to suck. I'm 
Well, it's time to retreat there, cause, cause we, I ran into one there. Won't even lie, I ran into one there. Should have just probably healed up Electra. Oh well. Let's see here. Defender, 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 defender. Oh, yeah. Let's just use Blade. Why not? He makes strike tiles for us. We kind of want to have strike tiles to uh, reduce the amount of damage dealt to us. So, win, win, win. I know we're kind of reliant upon, you know, red tiles to be up on the board. But, hey. Eventually, there will be enough red tiles on the board to where we'll be able to take advantage of that. Nope. Negated. There we go. Put out calming breath. Sadly, uh, calling is not going to be out in front. So where she could you know, ignore the stun, but it's all good. Flashing blade should, yeah, it should down her. Yep, deuces to deuces to her. Now go after Riri. Again, get that burst of healing. Take out any special tiles on the board. Alright, heal up Blade. Or actually just do damage to the enemy team. I forgot I wouldn't have I wouldn't have a 7 AP threshold. That's my fault. Cool, since you since you want to create protectiles, I will let you create protectiles then. Ah, boo. Alright, then what we'll do is we'll let Riri come on back down. And just literally let her decoy uh, take all this damage. Ah, boom. I didn't want that one there to happen, but I think we should. That'll work with me. That will work with me. It's like the uh, the self sacrifice of um, of Riri. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. We already used Luke. We used uh, Iron Fist. I'm trying to think here. Uh, we can actually use the. Uh, the four star electric, why not? Since, since let's make it, um, uh, let's make it ladies' night. Uh, I'm gonna have to ignore that tile there. For the time being, because I didn't want. Then want Bobby to get blue. That's gonna stink for a half a second. Hmm, I have to go this way.
probably gonna have to gonna have to do some stuff for a hot minute. Ooh, that's gonna suck. There, there goes a a lot, and I mean a lot of nastiness that's about to happen here. Got the match blue. Whiteout's gonna suck. Get this here as cheap as I possibly can. Get a little burst of healing. Well, hey, Colleen can't be stunned, so. Fearic victories, I guess. Take all those. Take all those. Literally let Electric come out in front. Nah, Scarlet, we just got to go. Like, literally, she has got to go. And the rest of this here is pretty much elementary, my dear Watson. In the final two nodes, again, those are relatively easy compared to the uh, the nonsense that we just got finished doing, so... You know, make a few matches, you know, in the, um... They end the careers of a couple of characters in Marvel Puzzle Quest, so... turn animations off but it's all good as a uh, yahoo alerts me to something and then finally again the other note that I don't really care too much about because y'all strongest color in black so Now your strongest color is black, but again, frankly, it doesn't doesn't make too much of a difference because you guys are downed. All right, so that's a look at the Colleen Wing and Friends store. Uh, as per usual, you know you get your legendary tokens, your basic support tokens, a guaranteed cover of Colleen Wing, guaranteed cover. A Misty Knight, a random four star, you know, your assortment of heroics and let um, mighty tokens, guaranteed three star Luke Cage assortment, 
random assortment of three star two star characters as well as you know your iso 8 so no sense of and hoarding these tokens here just go all out you know whatever you get is whatever you get and those are resources that you can eventually use to boost up your roster and you know accelerate your game a little bit more so for me ISO 8 which again you always need ISO 8 to level up your characters two stars to level up your farm and you know, basic support tokens because we still need to um, get the supports done done up a little bit more but um, yeah before I leave out I want to show you all uh, the resupply like I said since this is my anniversary a um, bunch of de devil dinosaur covers coming on the way um, 50 hero points though again there's still much more to go I think it's um, should be some command points is on the way you know all that good stuff there so I got I had a ways to go before I'm before I'm done so thank you all for watching hopefully you uh, you gleaned some strategies from me to uh, to beat those nodes there you know and if you don't happen to have a a max champion to lecture you know hey that's that's all right the the loner electric will still work effectively well because again it has the five in yellow which again is something i recommend hopefully in day two well day day three things won't be as chaotic as it was in day one but you know you say we'll take it as mm, take it out how it goes so be excellent to your fellow human beings, and I'll catch everybody up in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Peace.